Kiwami Games here, back at it with another video for you guys. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are revisiting one of my favorite decks from the new packs that we've gotten, and that is none other than Centurion. And as you can see, we also have some Naturia going on over here because I was reading somewhere, I'm not sure if it was like a Reddit thread or something, but there was like a debate uh, where people were questioning which of these decks makes the better level 12 synchros or which of these deck is best at making level 12 synchros is it Naturia Horus or is it Centurion and I actually love both of these decks like Naturia is a really fun deck that I play every now and then and then Centurion I just really really love it so I thought that instead of putting these two decks against each other why not put them together and bring some peace and love because that's what we need this world needs some peace and love you know what I mean so without further ado I got some crazy replays for you guys. Um, I will go over the deck list at the end of the video. I don't want to make the intro too long because my first replay right off the bat is a crazy intense duel that I had against uh, Sna uh, Snake Eyes Fire King. I think we went for like about seven, seven turns or so. So I just really want to jump into these replays. And then if you are a Saturnian player, I want to have like this discussion with you. What do you think is the best... Um, variant to play centurion is it bestios is it horus is it uh, monadium or is it natoria so without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's just jump right into the replays let's get it on all right guys so in this replay we are going to go up against uh snake eyes fire king all right so we're going to go first and this was literally like my first game once i made the deck like i jumped into the ladder and this is exactly what i got faced up against so we're gonna start things off by normal summoning the mole cricket. Activate the mole cricket to special summon the camellia. Camellia is gonna send the uh, sacred tree. Sacred tree is gonna get us our blessing. And we're gonna activate the blessing and bring back the mole cricket. All right, and then with these two monsters, we're gonna go into our Nitoria beast. All right, and then now because we synchro summon the Nitoria monster, the mole cricket comes back to us. And then now we're gonna set uh, a sacred tree and we're gonna set infinite impermanence. Okay, so our opponent is going to start by normal summoning the Fire King Okanix. So I'm going to hit it with the Ash Blossom. Alright, then he's going to discard the Pop Lord to special summon the uh, Diabell Star. Diabell Star is going to surge. And then also the Pop Lord is going to put itself onto the back row. And here I decide to negate the uh, Diabell Star just because I figure that maybe he doesn't have the original sinful spoil so I really want to prevent him from getting any resources and then right now because the Diabell Star is 2500 that means um, he has the highest attacking uh, monster so now with the Mo Cricket I can special summon two Nitoria monsters from my deck so I'm gonna proceed to special summon the uh, Camellia and the Sunflower So he's going to crash into my monsters, which is very smart for him. So now he's going to pretty much um, be able to activate now his spell cards. Okay, so he's going to activate the bonfire, getting himself the pop blast. Now the pop blast is going to special summon itself, searching for um, another spell or trap. Okay, that's going to trigger my camellia. So the camellia, I can bring back my Naturia Beast. And the reason why I bring back the beast is because I figured he was going to search for the original Sinful Spoils. So if he goes into the original Sinful Spoils or if he tries to activate it, then the Notoria Beast is going to be able to negate it. Alright, and then now because he's supposed to summon a monster from the extra deck, that's going to trigger my Mole Cricket to come back. And then here he does something really smart, which I didn't think about that he would do it. So he goes into the Little Knight so that he can banish my Notoria Beast. So now he can activate his spell cards freely. Okay, so he's going to go now into his Fire King engine, getting himself the Sanctuary. Okay, then the Sanctuary is going to get him the Fire King Island, and the Fire King Island is going to pop a card, and he's going to search for the uh, Garu uh, the High Avatar Kirin. Okay, then the Garunin is going to activate, he's going to pop the uh, Kirin from the deck, that's going to trigger the Kirin to special summon the um, Arvada. Then the Arvada is going to pop a card on my back row, so he's going to pop my Sacred Tree. And then the Sacred Tree, when it's sent to the graveyard, I can add a Notoria card to my hand, so I add my uh, Blessing. And then now he's going to use these three monsters and he's going to go into the Appaloosa. Which I thought he was going to go into like Promethean Princess or something like that. But I guess 
he want to get those monster negates so he is going to end up on uh, Appaloosa and he's going to end up on that uh, Arvada so now he's going to have about four monster negates all right so we join to the field spell so first we're going to activate the Mo Cricket and I'm just trying to bait everything out so I knew he's going to negate the Mo Cricket all right because I want like all of his monsters to resolve so that when I go into my real plays I want to go like interrupt it So we're just trying to bait out as many negates as we can. So we're going to activate our blessing, bring back the sunflower, activate the field spell, and then that's going to trigger the uh, curing. I'm going to activate the uh, sunflower, and I'm going to mill two cards from the um, grave. So that's going to allow me to, instead of sacrificing my monsters, the Camilla is going to be able to mill two cards, and then the sunflower is going to be able to resolve its effect. And then he's going to chain link the Appaloosa to that so I can activate the Sunflower once again. So I'm going, I can pretty much have just two monster negates within one turn. Alright, so now we negate the Appaloosa and it gets destroyed. And then we also negate the Kiring and it gets destroyed. Alright, and then now because the fire monster was destroyed, all of his um, fire king monsters are going to pop off and all of that. Alright, so he tried to destroy my field spell, but my field spell, as long as I have a uh, face up Centuria card, it cannot be destroyed by uh, card effects. Alright, so now I activate my Primera, so Special Summon herself onto the field from the Spell and Trap Zone. Okay, then he's going to search for the Skyburn. Okay, then the Garunix is going to pop, he's going to gain um, an attack boost. And because I Special Summon a monster, then that's going to trigger his uh, Sanctuary. So now with the Sanctuary, he's going to be able to use these three level 8 monsters to go into the High Yang. And then now the High Yang upon being summoned, she's going to be able to destroy all the monsters on the field. Okay, so I search for my Trudea with my uh, Primera. And then because he's supposed to summon a monster from the extra deck, that's going to trigger the, the Mo Cricket. The Mo Cricket is going to come back. Normal summon my uh, Trudea. I'm going to set the uh, Gargoyle to the back row and then I'm going to special summon the Gargoyle. Then I'm going to activate the Blessing, bring back the uh, Camellia. So now the Camellia is a level 4 tuner, so now level 4, level 8, I can go into my Auxilia. Okay, then we're going to activate the Auxilia, and then the Gargoyle, because it was used as Synchro Material, it's going to add itself back to my hand. And then the Bonds, I can banish it from the Graveyard, and I can place a Centurion Monster from my Graveyard to my uh, Spell and Trap Zone. Okay, and then we're going to search for our Omni Negate Trap card. Alright, and then with the Auxilla, I'm going to go into my Typhon. Okay, then I'm going to activate the Typhon and I'm going to spin back the Hyayan because I don't want to destroy it. Because this card right here says, if this card is destroyed while well, it has material, you can special summon Fire King Monsters from the graveyard up to the number of materials that it had. And right now it has three materials, so that means you can special summon three Fire King Monsters. So we do not want that. So we're just going to spin it back into the deck. And then we're going to smack them for 2900. Alright, and then that's all we wrote. Alright, then the Pawnix is going to add itself back to the hand. Okay, then he's going to activate the Sinful Spoil, banishing itself. Putting the uh, Poplar back into the deck so he can draw one. Okay, then here I'm going to activate the Mole Cricket. But he's got called by the Grave, so he's going to call by the Grave my Mole Cricket. Alright, but I'm going to activate my uh, Omni Negate, and I'm going to negate the Call by the Grave. Alright, so now with the Mole Cricket, I can bring back Camellia. Alright, so now I got my level 4 Tuner, and I got my level 8 uh, other monster. Okay, he's going to normal summon the uh, Snake, I Snake Eyes Ash. That's going to trigger my Camellia, so with the Camellia, I can bring back my um, Sunflower. Okay, then he's going to search for the Poplar. Poplar is going to special summon itself. I'm going to activate the Sunflower, mill in two cards. I'm going to negate and pop that Poplar. All 
All right, and then now he's going to try to uh, special summon either the Oak or the, uh, the, the Flame Burge. So I'm going to negate that. Okay, then he can activate his Fire King Island. He's going to pop the Ponyx, go searching for the Garunix. Bro, it's just crazy how much gas like Fire King has, bro. Like, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I thought when you think that you have them, they still got something going on. So now he's gonna pop my Typhon, so now his monsters with 3000 attack or more can activate. Okay, he's gonna go into the heat up. Okay, I, that's gonna trigger my Mole Cricket. He just gonna steal my Ash. Okay, then now with these two monsters, he's gonna go into the Promethean Princess. Okay, then the Promethean Princess is gonna bring back the Arvatara. Then he's gonna activate the Skyburn. Popping the um, Arvatara and popping my Mole Cricket. And that's going to trigger the Arvatara to special summon the High King Garunix. Okay, and with these two monsters, now he's going to go into the Raging Phoenix. And then here I'm thinking just like me, I'm not going to lie, bro, like, I was really out of time. I probably only had like three seconds. And I was thinking that maybe the same thing for my opponent because here, I guess, he was trying to go for the OTK, but he kind of screwed it up. So with the Raging Phoenix, he's going to go into the Zelantis. And then the Zelantis is going to banish the cards off the field. And then here, usually because a monster was special summoned to my side of the field, he would be able to trigger the, um, what is it, is this shorty right here? To pop a, a card and special summon herself, and then he can also bring back the uh, Raging Phoenix. But because he has no fire monsters to pop, he's not going to be able to do any of that, so he's not going to be able to OTK me. All right, so we draw into our Primera. Ponis is gonna add itself back to the hand. Perfectly balanced. And then here I make a mistake. I normal summon the um, Primera and I search for the Wake Up Centurion. And I meant to search for the uh, Field Spell because here I gotta get rid of the Field Spell so that I can special summon the Gargoyle. So now with the Gargoyle and the Primera, I can go into my level 12 Synchro. And like I mentioned, by this time, I'm just running on like maybe 15, 20 seconds. So I was just trying to speed through it as much as I could. So I kind of misplayed here and there. All right, but we pop his uh, Zelantis and now we can smack him for 3,500. Okay, then we're going to set the uh, Wake Up Centurion and then we're going to set the uh, Primera to our back row. Okay, and again, he's going to be able to trigger um, his Fire King Island, he's gonna pop a Fire Monster from his deck, so he can special summon a Fire Monster, and then he's gonna hit me with the Maxi. Okay, so we special summon Primera, he draws one off of that card. Alright, he's gonna search for the Olcanix. Okay, and then now because the Fire Monster was popped, the Garunix in the graveyard is gonna activate. I'm gonna activate my Primera, but he's got the call by the grave, so he's gonna be able to finger the Primera from my graveyard, and then give him the one on the field. Bro, this duel was just intense, man. I haven't had a duel like this in a long time. All right, and then here he's gonna try to uh, attack into my Primera, but the uh, Legacia protects all my monsters that have 2,000 or less attack. They cannot be destroyed. And then here he, I guess, like I outgassed him. I feel like he does. He didn't have any more gas, so he's now just gonna crash into my Legacia going out kamikaze style bro this duel was a whole lot of fun and i can't believe that like i i pretty much outgassed the snake eyes fire king deck i don't believe it i don't believe it but i feel like that's what just happened because he just gave up and i'm not gonna lie there was a point where i was like i think i'm cooked i was gonna quit so that's the message even if you're getting beat down bro don't give up on yourself stay in the fight because you never know you might be able to turn it around Right, my people in this replay we are gonna go up against what's considered to be the best deck in the game none other than you bell all right so we're gonna normal summon our primera searching for our bonds okay then we're gonna activate the field spell field spell is going to discard the bonds and then we're gonna set judea and then now because we control a uh, monster in our spell and trap zone we can now activate the ion so the ion is going to special summon a level a token Okay, and then now with these two monsters, we're going to be able to go into our level 12 Auxilla. Alright, then the Auxilla is going to search for a card. 
and then I'm going to activate the bonds banishing itself from the graveyard so that I can put the Primera back to my spell and trap zone all right and then we're going to search for our Omni Negate okay then the Tradea is going to spread to summon herself all right and then I'm going to put the Tradea and the Gargoyle back onto the field so now my um Omni Negate is active because in order to activate this card, I have to send a Spell of Trap card monster that I have on my Spell of Trap card zone. Or rather, a monster that's in my Spell of Trap zone. Alright, so he starts things off by um, first summoning the Phantom of Ubel so that he can get some Negate going on. Then he's going to activate the Nightmare Pain. I'm going to Ash Blossom that which is going to trigger the Phantom of Rebel, and I was surprised that he did that. But I kind of activated the Ash because I did want to bait out that negate. So now I can special summon my uh, Primera. Alright, so the Spirit of Rebel is going to activate, so now I can activate Primera. And then I can activate my Field Spell, so the Field Spell is going to allow me to Synchro Summon into my level 12 Crimson Dragon. I bring that bad boy out here all right then we're gonna search for a follow-up so we just search for another copy of the field spell okay then the gray squirm is gonna activate but before it resolves I'm going to activate my crimson dragon targeting the auxilla so that I can go into our level 12 red supernova dragon all right, so he's gonna pop the Ubel, then the Ubel is gonna activate, so just summon in the Incarnate. And then now, once again, he's gonna go and make another Phantom of Ubel. And then here, I guess my opponent did not read Supernova. So Supernova states that once per turn, uh, when your opponent monster's effect is activated, or when an opponent monster declares an attack, you can activate this effect, banish this card, also banish all cards your opponent controls non-targeting. So he's gonna try to attack into my red Supernova because with the Nightmare Pain, He's going to be able to reflect all that damage towards me. But we activate our supernova and we banish all of that shit. Reading is fundamental. Well, in this replay, we are going to go up against Rescue Ace. Alright, and our hands is looking alright. Not the best, but we can make it work. So we're going to activate the field spell. We're going to send the gargoyle to the graveyard so that we can get our Judeo. He's going to hit me with the max C, but because my deck is super consistent, you already know I got that Ash Blossom lock and ready. Negate that Coke Karoach. Alright, so back to what we were doing. Special Summon the Judea. Getting ourselves a Primera. The Primera is going to Special Summon herself. Searching for a Spell and Trap. We're going to search for the Wake Up Centurion. And we're going to activate the Wake Up Centurion. Getting ourselves our level 8 token. Level 8 token, level 4 Primera, we're going to go into the Auxilla. Okay, then the Auxilla is going to search me for my bonds. Okay, then we're going to activate the bonds and we're going to put the Gargoyle back onto the field. And then I'm going to set two, uh, well, one infinite permanent and one call by the grave. And let's see what our opponent's got. Okay, so he's going to activate the bonfire. I'm going to special summon the Primera. Alright, so he's going to get himself the Poplar. Okay, the Poplar is going to special summon itself onto the field. Okay, and then with the Primera, we're going to be able to search a Spell and Trap card. So we're going to search for our Trap card. Okay, then the Poplar is going to search for the original Sinful Spoils. Then he's going to go into the Link Haribo. Okay, then the Poplar is going to put herself back onto the field. Okay, then I'm going to special summon my Trudea. Okay, now with the Trudea being level 8, I can single summon using our level 4 Primera Tuner. Okay, and we're going to go into the Cosmic Dragon. Okay, then he's going to activate Original Sinful Spoils. I'm going to activate Crimson, Crimson Dragon. Alright, and then I'm going to go into our Cosmic Blazing Dragon. Okay, and then with his little Original Sinful Spoil, he's going to get the... Rescue Ace Hydrant and then that lucky bot. Yo, he ended up having the Sinful Spoil in the in his back pocket, bro. So he's going to trigger the uh, Cosmic Blazer Dragon. So he's going to force me to use out that negate.
Alright, so now he's gonna search for a Preventer. Preventer is gonna activate, but I'm actually going to negate the Preventer with the maximum C. Alright, then now our opponent is gonna proceed going into the Hita. Alright, then the Hita is gonna steal the Ash Blossom from my graveyard. Then he, with these two monsters, he's gonna go into the Promethean Princess. Okay, then the Promethean Princess is gonna bring back a fire monster. Okay, so he's gonna bring back the Hita. That's gonna trigger the Preventer. He's gonna banish the Hydrant, especially summon the Preventer. Alright, and then now with the Preventer and the um, Promethean Princess, he's gonna go into the Salamarian Great Rage and Phoenix. Okay, then the Preventer is going to bring back the uh, Hydrant, and then now with the Hydrant and the Air Lifter, he's going to go into the Nightmare Phoenix. Okay, and with the Nightmare Phoenix, he's going to trigger my Call by the Grave. So I activate the Call by the Grave, and I get rid of that Promethean Princess. Bye bye now. Okay, and then now with these two monsters, he's going to go into the Little Knight. Okay, and then with the Little Knight, he's going to banish my Auxilla. But because he activated the first effect, that means he cannot attack directly. So we get back our Dragon. And then now we can proceed to own him. Okay, so we're going to smack the Little Knight for 2,400. Okay, then we're going to set our back row. And we're going to pass. Okay, then he's going to activate the original Sinful Spoil. Setting the Poplar so that he can draw into another Poplar. Poplar is going to activate, especially summon herself onto the field, and he's going to call it quits, bro. Look at this, man. We are just outgassing all of these top tier decks, bro. I don't know. Are we convinced? Is Notoria the best way to play Centurion? I don't know. Only time will tell, but let's keep it moving. In this replay, we are going to go up against the Mermaid, Tillamans, and I think they're also running it with the uh, Horus Package. Alright, so we're going to start things off by activating the Field Spell. Field Spell is going to send the Gargoyle to the graveyard, getting ourselves our Tridea. He's going to hit me with the Max E, but we got the Finger for the Roach, so we're going to swipe away that Roach. Alright, no drawing cards for you. Alright, so we special summon Judea. Judea is going to set herself back onto the Spell and Trap Zone so that we can search for the Primera. Special summon the Primera. Primera is going to search us a Spell and Trap from our deck. But he's got the Ash Blossom for it, so it's going to get negated. Alright, and then that's all we wrote. Alright, and then our opponent, I guess he didn't have the best of hands either, so now we can special summon the Judea. And because we special summon a monster, so we can activate the field spell so that we can go into our level 12 Auxilla. Auxilla is going to search for the bonds, and then it's going to place the Judea back onto the Spell and Trap Zone. Alright, and we draw into Camellia. Dope. Alright, so we put back the uh, Judea, the Primera back onto the field. We're going to activate our Camellia. Camellia is going to send the... Uh, uh, Sacred Tree to the Graveyard, Sacred Tree is going to get us our Blessing, and then the Blessing is going to special summon the Mole Cricket. Okay, then we're going to activate the Mole Cricket, so that we can get our Sunflower. Alright, and then now with the Sunflower and the Familiar, I'm going to go into the Barkeon. And the reason why I went to the Barkeon is because his field was glowing, and then he's got these two back rows, which I don't know what they are. But just in case if they happen to be Trap Cards or something like that, I can now negate them with the Barkeon. Alright, so now we special summon the uh, Trudea, and he actually happens to have Super Poly. So he's gonna Super Poly my Trudea and my Auxilla. Alright, then I'm going to activate the Primera. Primera's gonna search for our Wake Up Centurion. Then I'm gonna activate the Blessing, but he's got called by the Grave. And he's gonna target my Camellia, but the Blessing is non targeting, so I can target whatever he doesn't banish. So in this case, I'm going to go for our um, Sunflower. Alright, so now we crash into his monsters. And then now our opponent just has one card in the hand. Okay, then I'm going to hit him with the Maxi. 
he's gonna activate the Keldo. And I feel like this was just bait to see if I can negate the Keldo. So I don't fall for the bait. I'm like, alright, whatever. You can put those cards back onto the deck. It doesn't matter to me. And then there you go. He actually top decked the Fenrir. Alright, so now the Fenrir is gonna activate. That's gonna trigger my Sunflower. So I sacrifice the Sunflower and the Camellia. So now I can negate and destroy the Fenrir. And that's an end to him. This deck is a lot of fun, bro. I really enjoy this deck. People, in this replay, we are gonna go up against a mirror match. All right, now our hands is looking pretty okay. Okay, so we're gonna activate a the Emblem of Oath. Emblem of Oath is gonna set the Judea, activate the Judea, push summon herself, putting herself back onto the Spell and Trap Zone, getting ourselves a Primera. Primera is gonna special summon herself, searching for the uh, Field Spell. Activate the field spell. Field spell is going to send the sacred tree to the graveyard. Get in the sacred tree is going to add me a mole cricket. Alright, so now we can send you there to the graveyard so that we can split some in the gargoyle. So now with the gargoyle being a level 8 and our level 4 tuna, we can go into our level 12 auxilla. Okay, then the auxilla is going to search for a card. And then the gargoyle, because it was used a single material, we can set it back to our hand. Okay, and then we're going to search for our Omni Negate. And we're going to normal summon our Camellia. Camellia is going to special summon the Mo the Camellia. I'm sorry. The Mokrik is going to special summon the Camellia. <laughs> Trying to keep up with everything man, that's going on. Okay, then we're going to activate the Blessing. Blessing is going to bring back the Mokrik. Alright, and then here he's going to try to banish my Primera, but... The Auxilla can special summon even from the Banish Pile, so we bring back our Primera. Okay, then he's gonna activate the Emblem of Oath, and he's gonna search for Wake Up Centurion, which I thought it was odd. Out of everything that he could search, he searched for that, I don't know. Okay, then he's gonna normal summon the uh, Primera, so I'm gonna activate the Ash Blossom, and then I'm gonna activate the Mole Cricket, and he's gonna say, nah, nah. Your version of Centurion is way too much for me. I'm out of here. Alright, my people. In this replay, we are going to go up against Flu Wanderees. And ladies and gentlemen, just a friendly reminder. If you are enjoying today's video, then why not take a quick moment. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss the thing. And let's keep on with the action. And if you have subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate all the love and support. It means everything to me. Okay, so we're going to activate our Emblem of Oath. He's got the Maximum C, but we got the Ash Blossom. So we're going to smack those roaches with the petals. Alright, so we put you there into the back row. Search and summon Judea. Searching for our Primera, but he's got the Effect Veiler. So we cannot search for anything. But no worries because we have a normal summon and guess what? We have a level 4 tuner. So Camellia is going to send the Sacred Tree. Sacred Tree is going to search me for my blessing. And now with the level 4 Camellia and the level 8 Judea, we're going to go into the Auxilla. Okay, then we're going to activate Auxilla. We're going to search for another field, sp uh, field spell. Okay, then we're going to activate the blessing. He's going to DD Crow. But again, he doesn't know what I'm going to get because the Blessing is non-targeting. So he's going to try to banish my Camellia. But the Blessing is also not once per turn. So I activate my second Blessing. Alright, so I get my Camellia back. And then now I get the Mo Cricket. And now with the Camellia and the Mo Cricket, we go into our Notoria Beast. Alright, then we bring back the Mo Cricket. And then we're going to Special Summon in the Camellia. And then that's all we wrote. Alright, and I guess our opponent is probably playing, I don't know, spell cards. Well, it was Flo on the race, so I guess he didn't want to smoke with Natoria Beast. Alright, my people, welcome to the decklist portion of the video. And if you made it this far into the video and stuck to the end, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and thank you so much for tuning in into the video. Now, without further ado, let's just jump right into this decklist. So, we are running things with uh, three Natoria Mole Cricket absolute necessity in any Nectaria variant in any Nectaria deck that you're running three more crooked it's necessary okay then another necessary card our Nectaria Sunflower 
so this is going to be your pretty much monster negate and if you have a camellia on the field then you can negate two monsters because the first effect you can resolve it by sending two monsters from the top of your deck via camilla and then the second time that you use the sunflower you can then uh, tribute this card and the camellia and then you're going to be able to have two monster negates in one turn and then we got two maxi i was running three maxi but I was just trying to keep the consistency of the deck by just running it at 40 but you can definitely you know bring one more and play it at 41 i feel like this deck one of the strength of it is just how super co uh, consistent it is so yep that's really really great so if you want to play 41 or 40 it's completely up to you okay then we got three ash blossoms you already know just to counter this card right here and then we have three Camellia, another necessi necessity in any uh, Notoria build. This card right here is just massive, massive. Okay, and then we got another important card in the Centurion package, which is three Centurion Primera. Your only tuner if you're not running any other variant with the Centurion. Okay, and then we got three Centurion Trudea. Okay, we got one Centurion Gargoyle. Okay, and then we got one Harpy's Feather Duster. We got three of the Field Spell, Stand Up Centurion. Then we got two Called by the Graves. And then we got three Blessings. Okay, and then we got three Emblema Oath. And then we're running one Centurion Bonds. And then we got one Wake Up Centurion. We got three Infinite Impermanence one centurion true awakening so this is pretty much an omni negate as long as you control a spell and trap card or a monster that is in your spell and trap zone to kind of use as sacrifice for this card and then we got three notorious sacred tree all right and that's pretty much the main deck so with for the extra deck i got one Ituria beast one Ituria barkyon then we got one shooting quasar dragon one stardust silver divine dragon and then one cosmic blazer dragon arguably the best uh card in your extra deck like you really 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 need this card and then we got one red dragon red supernova dragon which is arguably maybe your best uh, synchro monster that you can make with this deck all right then we got one cosmic quasar dragon we got one crimson dragon probably the best monster in the extra deck because if this card gets banished or if you don't have access to this card then it's going to be very very difficult for you to uh, synchro climb or to synchro into any of your other uh, synchro monsters okay then we got two centurion legatia okay and then we got one centurion auxilla and then we got one baguska one zeus one typhon and one sp little knight and that is the deck guys thank you so much for sticking out with me for hanging out let me know what do you guys think if you play centurion how are you playing it you know what engine do you like the most how do you feel about Neturias? um yeah anything questions comments or concerns feel free to drop them down below i always respond to you guys and be on the lookout for my community tab uh recently i started kind of making little dual rooms where i can do whoever wants to join and it's all just for fun and it's a good way for you guys to be featured on the video because i would like to make videos you know with you guys on it as a way to say thank you so be on the lookout for my community post um if i'm ever trying to play test the deck i will ask if any of you guys want to jump into the dual room and then i can just test things out with you guys but um yeah so that's the deck that's the video thank you all so much continue having a great day morning evening afternoon wherever you may be in the world and subscribe if you enjoyed the video thank you all so much kiwami games peace out